Hopefully he's just grinding out his gear. But yeah, let's let's go back. Let's go back to Hearthstone. Watch it. Oh, this is the Nazoth Reno lock. Interesting. Zoth Reno. Interesting. The Zoth Reno lock. So I'm actually quite excited because I did play uh, the Zoth Reno lock as well on ladder, but it didn't really. It wasn't as strong as Cthulhu lock. So I want to see what kind of build he actually did to actually make it more consistent. Oh, uh, he's probably playing the Leroy faceless power of That was a possibility. I do like that. Uh, so that that variant actually cuts Demon Wrath, Heatherler, and it doesn't play the one drop, but possess villager. Yeah. For those three cards. If people are, if they know <laughs> the Zoth variant of Reno Warlock, yeah. I know it's like not common at all. Not definitely not common at all. It. Deadly Kitten did pick up the Hellfires, which would be really, really crucial in this kind of matchup, just because you don't really need a condition like Shadow Flame, so this is going to be pretty good for... Uh, so he's going to go with the Dark Iron. Yeah, Dark Iron is pretty good. He had two options here. He could have gone um, M Gang Boss, Coin Abusive Sergeant, or Coin Dark Iron Dwarf. Mm -hmm. Both actually play really well against uh, Hellfire, but I don't even think you're worried about Hellfire at this no, point. You're definitely not worried. You're at a, you're, Your board is way too, yeah, way too small. You even have a lot of things that can protect you too, like Senshin and potentially Argus later on. You can even tap into Reno, which is another possibility that can save your life. But Shadow Flame and Hellfire lock, yeah. seems pretty good. So on the zoo side, um, yeah, like you kind of still want to play the trade game, but you're always kind of worried about. Uh, AoE, just kill all your minions, but on the flip side, the Rito lock, you actually only have a few ways to clear the board. That's Hellfire, Shadow Flame, and Twisting Nether. So, I mean, it, it's pretty interesting. Like, sometimes you just see players not play their AoE removal, even on boards like this, just so they can combat the future turns. <laughs> Try to get rid of, you know, scarier things. Uh -huh. Like Doom Guard stuff like that. We're seeing quite a Interesting. bit of good he's played rag. Yeah. yeah, Hellfire definitely comes here. He is pressured to the point that he needs to do it. So what does that do? That removes seven damage from the board. Okay, yeah, that's not bad at all, but you still have a, an awkward card with the Double, double Shadow PO flame. right here. Double PO. Oh no, that's a mortal coil. Uh nope, he did not get it. Mortal Call is probably not good here. Is Lowly Steward versus Young Priestess? Which is better? Mortal Call, interesting. Well, it does allow you to draw. I don't think he's going to have any windows to use it outside of maybe like finishing a trade into a creature. Yeah, but he can control that. But right? with your current board, yeah, but with his current board, like. No, how, no, no. He can, when what he is, needs a card to draw, like he needs some burst, he can do it on his own minions too. Yeah, but. That's never. We never. Well, great. well, if you're in a dire situation when you need burst, I feel like. Oh, really? so he is playing peddler. Of course. So yeah, he's actually gonna be able to do a full clear here then. My most actually, no. There's no, no, still no, gonna be yeah, one token. Yeah, unless he is he dead with that just that one token. How much health does he have now? Tap it to Doomguard, that lethal. Because uh, then he'll have the one token, right? As long as he doesn't tap, he'll be good. But I think that's why you picked up the Soul Fire, just to move that one minion on board, just to survive. Yeah, this place around the Power of the Wild. I actually don't feel, I I don't feel bad just got a card. Oh, oh, overwhelming. Oh, oh, there's the Doom Guard. I feel like you tap here. I'll... Yeah, that was the option, was to tap, and then that, or, but now it's like, uh, Possessed Villager is actually just lethal by itself. Yeah, I think this is really solid. It's so hard for the player to come back. Oh. My shield for He's still dead, dead, He's right? Still dead. Yeah. Yeah, that, dead. that one remaining damage is coming from the possessed villager. Alright. <laughs> he just realizes. JK. 